thank you for having me on. Um, family absolutely for yourself, Fasa Moa. I will Nango Waku, Papa Linko. Yeah, so I'm going to think of here, Pule Maya, Oi Junior, Lenita. So in Mafayana Amata Tafa Talanoanga, we'll start our conversation uh, this morning. Can you let us know, Ophia Nui to Tono Samoa? What are your villages? Yeah, uh, that's nice. How my satu in my Lufi Polo. Awesome, Junior. Now, Fisili Mua Mua, how did it feel to captain our Toa Samoa team this year? Yeah, uh, it was a privilege. Um, you know, very honoured to be caught up upon for such a special role and how much it just means not only to myself, but um, the sacrifices that, you know, our parents made and our grandparents made. So the only way we could, uh, well, in my terms, to reward them is to uh, represent um, our, our special nation and just be proud to be Samoans. And that's what this whole camp campaign was about, was making our people proud. And ex that's exactly what you and the boys did, the Tua Samoa boys. You have united Samoa, not only within you know, New Zealand, Australia, Samoa, but across the whole, the whole globe. Everyone was united as one. How did you feel seeing that support from your people? Yeah, just uh, seeing, seeing our people celebrate and be proud to be Samoan. Um, mm. You know, a lot of us, when we're in camp, we see all the videos that are getting sent in, uh, the parades that are happening in Sydney, Brisbane, Auckland, Apia, uh, all around the world. This, this is such a special, monumental moment for our people and, and how much it just means to them. So being able to share that sort of achievement with everyone and just seeing the smiles that's putting on faces, uh, that's... That's probably the biggest achievement from us uh, away from the World Cup. Yeah, and it was such a moment for all of us to also share in the achievement that you have uh, achieved as a team. So speaking of it, Leasato Ausia Le Final, first ever Pacific Nation, Tier 2 Nation as well, uh, to make the finals for the Rugby League World Cup tournament. How did you and the team feel when you finally realised you have achieved this huge milestone yeah it was massive um i, I go back to that england game um mm. the way that game finished you know we won the week before uh in a quarter final against our neighboring uh nation in tonga um and that was a already a history making moment for our team to make it to the semi-final but to win against england in England was probably uh, an emotional roller coaster because, you know, one of our things is Favalia mm. Tua, meaning God, uh, God being with our nation, be the foundation of our nation. And at the end of that game, I broke down in tears, yeah. um, praising, praising God for, for guiding us on that journey mm. to where he was able to take us and for us as a as a team, belief and faith was what carried this team over the campaign and also the prayers and blessings of our people who, who are all praying from, from everywhere around the world for, for us to make it that far. So it's just a special achievement and uh, such an emotional one, not only for our families, but like I said, just for our people in general. At the beginning of the campaign, did you think that your team was going to make the finals? Yeah, we, we always said that we we knew we had a strong team. Mm. We just needed some time to gel together. Mm. Um, a lot of us haven't played uh, together throughout the whole year. So when that tough loss against England in the... Our connection there with our Captain Junior Polo is just pending at the moment. I, I a campaign. That's all that mattered. Speaking of that first game with England, 
and then the redemption game. So after that first game, how did how did the team feel? And then was there any pressure on you and the boys to come back and redeem yourselves with that second match against England? There's a bit of a connection that's happening, uh, dropping right now with our captain. Yeah, sorry, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, the question before our connection failed, uh, obviously we all know how that first game went. Um, how did you and the boys feel from that first game? And then was there any pressure on the team um, for that redemption game in the semifinals? Yeah, it was tough losing to uh, England by so much. It was, it was unexpected from us. But at the end of that game, um, we said in the middle of the field, we said a prayer. And mm. we knew that the belief was always there. And as long as we turned to God um, at the end of the game and at the start of the game, we knew he was going to carry us throughout the campaign. And mm. um, getting into the next week, there, there wasn't any pressure and we knew because we lost by so much, a lot of people were going to have eyes on us, but we just knew that it was going to be um, a matter of just believing in each other. You speak about the culture and the faith that united the boys during the, the camp and during the tournament. Can you share a little bit about this? Because it was also evident uh, when comparing to other teams in the tournament that there was something that made Samoa stand out, our players stand out. Can you share a little bit about the culture uh, within our Tour Samoa team? Yeah, um, so we've got a lot of guys who... Uh, come into this team uh, who are probably wanting to learn a lot more about the culture, about Samoa. And for us, we have one person in our camp who's basically known as the CEO, the Chief Entertainment Officer, also known as Ferretti Tuilangi. Yeah. Um, he's a big part of the culture. Mm. And, and, and just having the, you know, connecting everyone together. It's, it's hard when you're playing for different clubs back at Homeland. Um, so when we come in, we've got Ferretti, who's mm -hmm. uh, one of the main reasons why this camp makes it so enjoyable, but um, you gotta be able to understand our culture as well. So he, he plays a big a big role in that. And um, a lot of us just come together from all different walks of life, but to have the same understanding and, and belief, this is probably one of the uh, biggest achievements um, that we've been able to to witness and um, probably a big moment for a lot of people around the world to witness this this moment in history. Definitely. Uh, so we've also received news this morning, uh, Samoa will remain in the Tier 2, uh, as a Tier 2 nation in the rugby league uh, uh, industry. How do you feel about this? Yeah, uh, part of me is quite happy because some of us like to play. Uh, we some of us play Origin as well. Mm. So if Samoa is to move to a nation, uh, a lot of the boys in our team won't be able to play Origin. But I think that's the sacrifice that we talk about before we come into campus. You know, we we chose to represent our, our country and. Um, you know, the, the same financial beneficiaries aren't the same as playing for those tier one nations, but it's probably the gratitude that comes was just so grateful to, um, you know, represent our people on such a world stage. And, um, you know, if, if, it is, if we do remain tier two nation, then we are able to still play uh, state of origin and, and still have pride in wearing both jerseys. 
Can you elaborate who makes the decision for a country or a nation to stay in Tier 2 or to move to Tier 1? Yeah, so the International uh, Rugby League Federation, they, they choose, but there's a lot of uh, criteria that you need to meet mm. in order to move to a Tier 1 nation. Um, this is the right direction that we're heading in because part of being a Tier 1 nation is developing pathways for our nation back in, in the homelands of Samoa. And that's mm. what we want to be able to achieve is inspire the, you know, the young kids who have that dream of now representing Tua Samoa. Mm. That's one of the main reasons why we chose to uh, represent our nation. And thankfully for this World Cup, it's been able to uh, put Samoa on the map. And you know, for such a small nation in the Pacific, uh, everyone knows who Samoa is now. Yeah, definitely. What was a highlight for you during this tournament as a captain? Uh, oh, we've got plenty of highlights. Um, you know, there's so many to name. Um, uh, we can't go past that win against England. Um, mm. As we said, we were dealing with a lot Didn't expect us to make it so far, but we always had one goal of, of beating a Tier 1 nation and that finally came because that was dream for a lot of us uh, when we first played for the Tosa Amor uh, many years ago. So we've always wanted to just, um, you know, get one of those major wins. And now we we are able to complete, compete with those big nations. And last question, Junior. Thank you so much for your time. But there are young ones who are listening right now and who have been watching your campaign throughout the past few weeks what is an advice that someone has given you that you would like to pass on to them um, about whether they want to play in the Tour Samoa or whatever goals that they have? What is something that you would like to share to our young listeners today? Yeah, um, yeah you can't go past the easiest one is to have fun. Enjoy what you're doing. Uh, for you and you enjoy it. Um, you want to be able to achieve the goal in life. You got to be able to uh, make sacrifices, but enjoy something that you're doing. Um, whether it's going down to the touch, uh, to the field, and playing touch with your, with the locals. For me here in Sydney, there's a group, the Village Touch people. I want to make a quick shout out to them. Mm. <laughs> um, but it's all about just finding something that you're passionate about and make sure you enjoy it. Don't do it because someone's telling you to or don't do it for for different reasons. Just if it means something to you, that's all that matters in life. And just remember that um, sometimes God will always be there to take you no matter what. So trust him. Trust him. Amen. Amen. And anything you'd like to add to our listeners who are tuning in right now to all of Samoa around the world? Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Uh, it means so much to us as a team. We did see you all through all your support through social media, but most of all, your prayers and blessings as well. Bless this beautiful team of ours, and we're so thankful and grateful for all the support that you guys have given. So much love, and hopefully we get to see you guys soon, especially those back in Samoa, as we can't wait to get, uh, get back home. Oh, and we can't wait to celebrate you and the team also. Um, and that was just a short snippet what you saw at the airport because I know Samoa right now is so excited to have our team back at home as well as to celebrate the players. But on behalf of, uh, of uh, Radio Samoa, we would just like to thank you so much. And our listeners today, Malole lo totoa, Malole ono sa'i, Malo fo ile finau, leo wa uto fa aiaias, yo tata wa tunu upele o Samoa, pe yona e saunoa, ele ititi ai ma ini le tata Thank you for carrying our beautiful nation with such pride uh, because like you said as well, if, some, if people did not know Samoa, now they know through this campaign of how you held yourself as a captain and also led our, uh, our team. So thank you so much and thank you also for your time this morning, Junior Bolo. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.
Thank you. Ole Fatala Noanga, Nama Litato Capteni, Ole Toa Samoa, Alessunga Junior Paulo, 